What's up guys? Sebastian and Jared here from Walt Grace Vintage. What's going on everybody? Today's video is going to be about Vimuron pedals. These pedals are handmade in Japan and they're very unique. There's, there's many cool things about them, starting off with the way they're built. First of all, uh, they come in very small batches. All the parts are very high quality. Uh, the casing is actually made out of brass. The brass casing is, uh, it's, it's like a good hefty, like just you, you, t you pick up the pedal and you're like, yeah, that's a solid made pedal, even before you hear it. <laughs> yeah. And you can tell this is not only a popular brand, well, when you see it in so many professional pedal boards. For a lot of players, it might be hard to justify the high price tag, but trust us when we tell you that these are worth every single penny. They're built like tanks, they sound amazing, and they really have something about them that they're all very inspiring in their own ways. They sound Definitely. really, really good. So let's start off by talking about the Generate. This is arguably their most popular pedal. It's definitely their flagship. Yeah. And it's based on a crank blackface Fender sound. They call yeah. it the Fender Magic 6. The Fender Magic 6, the magic number that you crank up those Fender amps. Uh, it's, um, it's, it's really amazing. The way I like to use it is to run it with low gain and you know, just have it on all the time and just really control how much gain I want off my sound with the volume control. It's that type of pedal. It's super dynamic. It's very transparent. The controls are gain, volume, treble, and bass. And okay. then the back, you also have a trim pod that controls uh, the saturation of the pedal. So if you want a heavier uh, distortion out of it, you can also adjust it. Um, yeah, it's amazing. You own one of these, right? January is one of the ones that I have on my board. Um, just like you were saying, I have used it in the case that I'll, I'll keep it on for the entire gig or session. It has a lot of high headroom and I, I set it where it has a little bit of grit and I use it by itself. I use it stacked with other pedals. Um, yes, yeah. it does stack really well with other drives, especially the, the shanks. We were trying it out and it's just so fat and nasty. Let's hear how it sounds. So the next pedal we'll be looking at is the Shanks ODS-1. This is another uh, favorite of ours. Jared, you actually own one of these yourself, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah I own the Shanks ODS and the January, but for the Shanks ODS, yeah, it's um, the way that I like to describe it when anybody asks is that it's just that overdrive pedal that is very, uh, again, it's like, it's a similar take kind of with, with, with the Jan Ray where you just have an overall spectrum of overdrive tones from, from almost like boost, almost like overdrive to full on, like in my, for me, solo, uh, gain. And it's, um, again, this one's a little, even, even more, uh, simple. You have just a, you have the tone gain and the level and, um, another high headroom pedal. So yeah. it's, uh, it's got a little more, I feel like it's got a little bit more heft, um, the end just in the pedal itself. Mm -hmm. So with the trim pots on this one, you have the adjustable saturation trim pot and an adjustable bass trim pot. Yeah. Which by the way, if, if you don't know this, Shanks is actually the name yeah. of, well, this pedal is a signature pedal for John Shanks. He's like a real famous producer. Mm -hmm. I believe he plays guitar now for Bon Jovi. It's like one of, you know, huge start. Um, and the guy has really good taste in tone. He's played a lot of pedal. vintage pedals too. Yeah. So he really knows tone. <laughs> yeah, so this is based on the Nobles uh, Overdrive, the the OD, right? The OD, the Nobles ODS. I mean, it's yeah, like, yeah, it's, exactly. And it's, yeah, it's, um, which is an ad, they call it the Nashville pedal. It's a staple in like that, uh, circle of, you know, like a uh, Nashville session country it musician. It sits really well in the mix. Yeah. It's a really fat overdrive. And I feel like, uh, the original one's very famous because it didn't cut, uh, bass, which is a problem that pedals like, let's say, a tube screamer, for example. Yeah. You know, when you turn it on, 
your low end is gone. With a pedal like this, that doesn't happen. It stays full and big. I actually think it pairs up really well with Fender amps because it has a bit more yeah. mids, but the overdrive itself is just really fat. You know, it's got plenty of gain on top. And I feel like yeah. similar to the Generate, you can use it with an amp that has uh, some gain or just with a plain clean amp and it's gonna sound good regardless. third pedal we'll be looking at is the Vermeerum Shanks Fuzz. This is the second uh, signature pedal that John has with uh, Vermeerum. And in this case, it's a really cool fuzz. Oh, yeah. It's a it's a take of many different fuzz circuits put together in the one box. Yeah, specifically was, a tone bender. It was a and, tone bender, yeah. a fuzz face, and a buzz around. Buzz around, yeah, that's yeah. It, yeah. For those who may not know, a buzz around. The buzz around uh, is even rarer than something like a fuzz face or a tone bender circuit. Mm -hmm. For me. I've learned about it, famously used by Robert Fripp of King Crimson, especially on the uh, 21st Century Schizoid Man, that that sound of the guitar, uh, the solo, that was a buzz around. Um, and it's uh, it's a very unique fuzz sound. But he, with Shanks, you know, he he's used a lot of vintage fuzzes and, you know, and in the studio and all that. Mm -hmm. So he essentially made a fuzz pedal with Vemuram that was his ideal fuzz. And yeah. it sounds very, very musical. It sounds really good. It sounds really fat. Uh, it takes in really well humbuckers and single coils. Um, you also have a bias trim pod in the back that basically adjusts almost like the gated sound that the fuzz has. You can go from like a very spitty Valkyrie sound to almost like an overdrive style of, of fuzz, which I think is, is my favorite thing about this pedal. Um, if you're not really into traditional fuzzes or you, you find that they're hard to pair with your amp or your guitar, this is the most distortion-like fuzz I've heard. You know, it has a really pleasant mid-range that pairs up well with, you know, almost anything we've tried it with today. Okay. And it, it feels really good. It cleans up well, sounds fat and nasty, and yet you get that sustain from a fuzz pedal. Really cool pedal for sure.
So the last pedal we'll be checking out is the Myriad Fuzz. This is the signature pedal for Josh Smith. And I gotta say, this is my favorite pedal that Vermeer makes. It's one of the most versatile fuzzes I've ever tried. And I mean, also, I'm happy, I happen to be a, a huge fan of Josh Smith. I mean, me too. <laughs> a little biased it, yeah. here. But the pedal does sound amazing. It's, it's just one of those that really can do it all for me. So it's based on a fuzz based circuit. Uh, through the feel nub here, you can actually go from a silicon to a germanium transistor, and then you can combine them both and find in between sounds. It really does change the way the pedal feels our response. Um, and then through the tone control, it doesn't work like a traditional tone. It's almost yeah. like a, you know, it, it helps you adjust the sound when you're going from a guitar that has humbuckers and then something that has single coils. Same it's, thing also with dark and bright amps. It's probably got some of the most headroom I've ever heard out of a fuzz pedal too. This thing is loud. If you want to hit the front of your amp hard, this is the pedal to do it with. It's just insane when it comes to that. Which Josh Smith, I, I've seen, you know, him say many times that one of the biggest asks was making sure that this was the highest headroom fuzz pedal that you could possibly go after. Oh, I'm believing it you, is. If this you can thing see, just... the level is right there, and that was already... That's Unity Game. That was Unity Game. <laughs> yeah. Unity volume, it was per, it was ridiculously awesome. It sounds like angry. It's it like, sounds angry, it's, yeah. It, but like in a really awesome, like, yeah. that you want out of a fuzz, and it's just... Yeah. No, I would say that this is probably the most versatile fuzz I've, I've ever tried. You can get anything out of it, either from like a light, you know, very dynamic, responsive overdrive, into like a more of like a just nasty yeah. balls to the walls type of pedal like just really nasty we obviously as guitar players have ways of describing tone yeah but for me know. at least this is the end will be all fuzz yeah yeah totally <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know what you think down below in the comment section about these Vermeer and pedals. If you want to know more about them, the links will be in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and giving us a thumbs up. Uh, for more information about us, visit our website, walgrisvintage.com. Jared, thank you for being here, man. Thank you for having me. I had a lot of fun. Vermeer and pedals are, are awesome. Every single one really does have its own magical sound, in my opinion. So Yeah. Follow us on Instagram for more content like this. It's at Vintage. My name is Sebastian. I'm Jared. Until next time.